Hey, how's it going? I'm Ina Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so the first thing you're probably noticing is that this is being filmed on the exact same day as last week's um, and I'm doing a very, very poor job of trying to cover up that fact. Um, the only reason I'm sort of bothering to do it this time when I haven't um, worried too much about it the last couple of times is it does make it a lot easier to work out <laughs> work out which video is which uh, just at a glance um, when I'm not wearing the exact same thing each time. <laughs> I mean I do title things um, so I, I can sort of figure it out and I can sort of work it out fairly easily but it's much easier for my brain if I can just like glance at it and kind of go, yeah, that's that one and that's that one um, without me having to sort of like go and read stuff. Why would I want to read? <laughs> she says, and then not to the fact that this entire one is about her reading. <laughs> so I said last time that this one was going to be sort of an updatey kind of one um, and letting you guys know what's going on with Isla Reads, why it hasn't returned yet and what my sort of thoughts and, and plans are about it uh, for the future. Um, so as it sounds right now, um, the reason it hasn't sort of relaunched just yet uh, is because I still haven't 100% decided which format I want to sort of go with it and amidst all of the house or, or rather all of the flat hunting and sorting out you know all of that kind of stuff that's been going on um, relaunching Isla Reeves just was, has not been a priority and in all honesty it's just not been a priority at all for the last uh, couple of months um, and I think you know that's that's fair enough um, in terms of my sort of thoughts about how I want to sort of start it again um, I definitely want to make life a little bit easier for myself um, and I think when I relaunch Isla Reed, um, instead of having just an audio track going on, you're going to actually see me. You're going to actually see me either sat or stood reading, depending on what, whatever is the easiest thing for me to be doing. Um, I'm going to sort of go forward like that and yes, those takes are going to be probably heavily edited, um, but the audio takes were heavily edited. And they were annoying because trying to edit audio um, through Windows Movie Maker, which is what I use for, for my editing, it's just a bit of a nightmare. And to be honest, editing audio in general is just a bit of a nightmare <laughs> for all the programs, all the free programs that I've, I've found and I've tried to use for it. It's just, it's ridiculously difficult just editing um, the, the audio. Um, not to mention that the sound quality wasn't always consistent um, for whatever reason. Um, whereas when I'm sort of doing my vlogs, so the, even though it's the same mic, for some reason the sound quality is a lot more consistent um, when I'm face on with the cam rather than just recording the audio. So my big idea with it is that I'm going to start doing it a bit like I do my vlogs, where you guys are going to see me actually reading and making a bit of an idiot for myself uh, but I'm not sure yet exactly how I want it to look um, but I'm pretty certain that's that's how I'm going to, to be going forward with it and, and um, I will sort of exper start experimenting with that um, and you know I hopefully get um, hopefully get the reading of Echo finished um, over the next however many months. Um, I don't know yet exactly when I'm going to be relaunching it. It will definitely go however be after I've moved. Um, and the reason being that right now I need to focus on moving and getting all that sorted and I don't want to sort of start doing the last few chapters in one sort of style and then swapping over to a completely different sort of style or a completely different setup because that works better for where I'm moving to, opposed to where I am now. Um, likewise, although I'm definitely going to be re still recording vlogs um, whilst I'm getting the flat sorted, um, and you guys are going to see sort of see some of the changes that are going on with with all that and whatnot. Um, there is definitely going to be a delay in starting the filming of Isla's Reads until 
the flat has been decorated um, and part of that is because uh, one of the things I'm planning to do in the living space or the living room sort of area is put carpeting down and that's going to change again that's going to change the sound quality whereas that's not going to matter quite so much for the blogs if I want the either read series to be sort of consistent um, then I'm going to need to sort of do that from a point in time where it's going to all be consistent. So yeah, there, there's gonna there are gonna be a few more continued delays with either reads. Um, as I said, the first one is it's not gonna it's definitely not gonna be till after the move, and it's definitely not gonna be until after I finish decorating. Um, or at least until after I've got the carpet down. Once the carpet has kind of gone down and the the sound quality for that particular space has been established, um, at that point that's when I'm going to go okay yay let's let's start doing the either reads um i don't yet have an exact time frame for when that is going to happen but with any luck i should have it all ready and set up and ready to go beginning of the summer and then hopefully have the rest of echo via isla reads up on my channel uh by the end of the year uh that is just at the moment, what I'm hoping is going to happen, whether or not it actually happens, has yet to be seen. Um, and it's sort of like the ideal situation. Um, and any of you who saw the latest promo I did for Hyena Boy, uh, which was me reading an extract from Hyena Boy uh, to the camera, that is was kind of me kind of experimenting a little bit with, with the style and with the format. and seeing what worked, what happened to work quite well for that one was me standing up and reading it but with that one in particular I wanted to try to do it without having to edit it too much I wanted to try to do it in one take I did have to edit in the end a little bit um from it it's because I got like halfway through and then stumbled over a word and I was like I don't want to have to read all of that again <laughs> that, was, that was going really well until that point um so I managed to sort of do it in one take with one edit uh, whereas with the, the I read and doing two chapters, I'm not going to worry too much about doing a little bit more editing. I mean, I know a lot of people aren't necessarily going to to like it like that. They're probably going to prefer, you know, I can do it in in one take with as few edits as possible. But unfortunately, my because of the difficulties I can have getting words out at times. Um, which you know can vary with how bad it is um and isn't helped by me reading <laughs> surprisingly um and i'm not the best at sort of reading things aloud anyway it is going to be edited and there's gonna, um, i'm not going to be able to hide the fact that it was edited but it was edited before anyway um all this is sort of gonna do um just make that editing process hopefully a little bit easier um, than it currently is. Um, as, as I said, in theory, it should be a little bit easier, but whether or not it is, um, I've yet to be seen. But the, the amount of times like the, the thing would just jump all over the place when I was editing the audio, it was just it was just so, so fiddly to do. So absolutely fiddly to do. So Fingers crossed, editing video uh, for that sort of length will be a lot easier um, and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% sure how those videos are going to look yet because I need to get on, on location. I need to work out the best way for me kind of reading it. Um, I mean, it might even be that I sort of <laughs> I sort of record my practicing of it um, more than anything else. Um, because I always sort of read the, the chapters at least once before I did the recordings. Um, so it might just be me kind of doing it in that sort of style, which may or may not work. Um, so there might be like a little bit of experimenting uh, with the first uh, couple that I do go back into doing um, to just see sort of like what works best and what resonates best with people and what gives like the best sort of style um for doing like the face the face uh videos um uh, for it rather than just the uh audio videos for it um so yeah that's that's kind of what's going to be happening with IREs and like I said it's probably going to be another couple of months before it actually starts in earnest um 
because of moving, because of having to get new flats set up um, and various bits and pieces like that. But once all that is sort of settled and I know where I'm doing and I know where I'm going with it, um, that's when I'm going to start filming the Isle of Reeds again. Hopefully, fingers crossed, nothing goes wrong. Um, and hopefully I will get all the rest of the way through Echo. Um, and then I can get to decide what I do next, um, whether it's reading one of mine or if it's something else. Um, I think I'd quite like to do Hyena Boy, um, which I know is just, you know, more me doing me. <laughs> um, but I think there's something about Hyena Boy that, you know, especially with the projects that I'm working on at the moment being relating back to, to, to Hyena Boy and stuff like that, I think it'd be a good way of promoting um, the stuff that is coming. <laughs> so, all the, the stuff I guess by that point would already be released if I'm on track for my editing and stuff for uh, the next book that I'm releasing, which is hopefully this summer. So. There might also be a delay in the IRE stuff because of that. <laughs> she says, now, now realising just how much she's planning to do by the summer. <laughs> All right, okay. So I hope you guys have found this little updated kite thing kind of interesting. Um, I know I haven't really... I still don't have any sort of definites as to how and when things are coming back. I've definitely got definite ideas and I've definitely got definite this is what I think will work, but I don't have any kind of, yeah, this is how it's going to look exactly because I can't tell you exactly how it's going to look until I start actually filming it. <laughs> okay, so the next one um, is going to be... It seems, it's entitled on my calendar, Finding Unexpected Stories. Uh, I know exactly what I mean when I'm saying that. It is going back to being a little bit more of a writerly one because uh, we haven't really had a lot of those recently. Um, so yeah, if you're curious to find out what that's about, then come back next time. Um, right, so hope you guys have enjoyed this one and I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!